Hey, it's Jessica and Whitney, and we're back. We thought that the recording of the lecture for chapter 14 went so well that we would give it another try for chapter 15. Uh, chapter 15 is the start of module 5, so be sure to review all of the module 5 finishing up activities before you continue with this lecture. Uh, click on the project, see what's expected of the three projects that are required for module 5. Make note of the things that you already know and the things that you need to learn. And then as you're watching our lecture or you're participating in the demo videos or even if you're reading the chapter in the textbook, you can learn the things that maybe you're lacking right now. But without further ado, I'll hand it over to Whitney and we'll get started with this lecture. Okay, here we go. So Photoshop is an ideal application for retouching photographs. And in this video, we will be talking about and demonstrating a variety of tools and techniques that Photoshop users commonly use for retouching. What exactly is retouching and what do I mean when I talk about retouching? Well, retouching is correcting imperfections in an image or removing unwanted elements. This could be removing blemishes, whitening teeth, smoothing wrinkles, removing power lines, and replacing or adjusting colors, to name a few. The key to retouching is subtlety. Your goal should always be to make the image look like it hasn't been manipulated at all. By learning Photoshop's retouching tools and techniques, the list of things that you can do to your photographs is endless. Let's talk about what you will learn in this lecture. The learning outcomes for this video, or series of videos, are to understand the importance of subtlety when retouching, removing unwanted red eye from photographs, enhancing images of people by whitening teeth and smoothing skin, using the healing brush, spot healing brush, and patch tools to remove blemishes or unwanted objects from your images, along with a variety of other tools that will remove the unwanted elements. We'll also practice using cloning tools to remove and or duplicate image elements. And last, we'll demonstrate how and why content-aware fill and content-aware move tools are used so that you'll have a better understanding of their importance for retouching. Photoshop has many tools and resources for retouching, including content-aware fill, content-aware move, color replace command, color replacement tool, red eye tool, healing brush tool, spot healing brush tool, patch tool, smoothing filters, clone stamp tool. Using any of these tools in combination with selections, masking, etc. will allow you to correct imperfections in your photographs in a subtle way. I'm having flashbacks to our last video when we talked about how often you could use the brush tool. So basically every tool in Photoshop can be used for retouching. It depends on I guess your take on it and, and what you need to accomplish. Next, I'd like to mention a few things about retouching. These aren't necessarily rules, but rather tips that you should always keep in mind when you are retouching. Here are your retouching tips. First, never edit original content. Save a copy of the file, duplicate the edit layer, or use new layers to make changes. Try to make any changes look as natural as possible. Lower the opacity on a change layer so that it blends with the original layer, adding some detail back into the image. And finally, do the spot changes first and the overall changes second. What I mean by that is if I need to remove a logo from a shirt and adjust the brightness and contrast of an image, I would first remove the logo because that's a spot change, and then I would apply a brightness and contrast adjustment layer because that's an overall change. 